Even minor surgery can come with the risk of infection and days of painful recovery. But now new technology is letting doctors cure without having to cut. Roshni Murthy with the procedure that puts patients under sound waves instead of under the knife. It did feel like somebody was uh, Charlie horsing me over and over again or trying to bend my femur bone into a hockey blade. There's like certain sports that I'd want to do, but sometimes I would try and avoid those sports because yeah. I knew that these, this pain would act up. Woohoo! That went in! Instead of playing hockey or testing out the waters on his wakeboard, for the last year, 16-year-old Jack Campanelli was taking pain meds up to four times a day. That it equals up to over 700 painkillers a year. All because of a benign tumor in his femur, known as osteoid osteoma. It felt like a, a schedule that I didn't ask for. Like a, I was constantly on a painkiller schedule. One centimeter, that's how small these tumors usually are. But don't let the size fool you. They pack a powerful and painful punch. And typically you'd need surgery, invasive surgery to remove something like this, but maybe not for long. And this is uh, your, the ball of the femur and that's your hip joint there. Jack is now tumor free and he's the first child in North America to get his removed by high intensity focused ultrasound or HIFU. Here's how it works. The tumor is targeted by an MRI machine. It's destroyed using sound waves to heat it. Take a look at this water. The energy shift you're seeing here is kind of like what happened to his tissues. We think long term that many surgical procedures will be either minimally invasive or non-invasive and particularly in pediatric patients so that's where we think the future lies and the half hour procedure worked wonders for Jack who was home that night they went to bed that night and he hasn't taken a painkiller since I am now pain free uh, sleeping through the night waking up at 10 o'clock 11 o'clock around there so, uh, so you're being a normal 16 year old in the summertime now yes exactly yeah <laughs> so I cannot wait to get back in the water and yes now, this still is a relatively new procedure. Doctors say they still will plan on doing it on about nine more patients. From there, they'll look at the results and decide how to move forward with this technology. But they do say the ultimate hope is that this becomes a North American standard for care. At Sick Kids Hospital, Roshni Murthy, City News.